Pasco County warning pet owners tonight about several cases of sick raccoons, eight just showing up in heavily populated areas. The number of sick raccoons growing quickly in Pasco County over the last two years. So new at six, ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane shows us why the numbers are so shocking. It's a lot. Um, and to say it's only month one of the year. Here's why rabies control officer Martin O'Keefe is concerned. In 2016, Pasco County Animal Services responded to 46 sick raccoon calls. In 2017, that number more than tripled with 155 calls. And in 2018, less than one month in, they've already gotten 45 calls about strange acting raccoons. They're all exhibiting some kind of neurological signs or symptoms. Uh, they're spinning in circles. They're falling out of trees. They're snapping their jaws. O'Keefe says those are all signs of rabies or distemper. Unlike the rabies where it has to be exposed to the animal through bite or scratch, distemper can be aerosolized, so they could be just close to the animal. He says one explanation could be all the raccoons are feeding in the same area. Just this week, Pasco Animal Control responded to eight separate calls of sick raccoons on the west side of Pasco County. That's crazy, honestly. Dog owner Ashley Disney brings her dog Lindy to Meadows Lake Dog Park in western Pasco County. I get my dog vaccinated because I don't want her to get sick or end up with anything that's going to harm her. Like, she's my baby. Ashley says she'll be taking more precautions. Uh, definitely lock them up at night inside the house because that's mostly the times when the raccoons do come out. Just a word of advice, get your dog vaccinated and keep them safe. And if you see a sick raccoon, leave them be. Call the authorities. Let, let us handle it. Let us take a look at it and see what's going on. In Pasco County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.